Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Kara. And her cheese balls. <laughs> We're two farm chicks in Alaska bringing you another wig review today. Uh, there was something I was going to say in the beginning and I can't remember. I don't know. I'm doing Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Glee from Model Model. <laughs> Not laughing at me. In color P430. And I am reviewing, of course, whenever you get in front of a camera, you know it's just, ah. I am reviewing um, from the Motown Tress Collection, SK Charm in color F2730. Oh. I'm up. Mm -hmm. And here's what it looks like on the model. And did you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. All right, in continuing our series on thinning hair solutions, we decided to choose these two hair accessories units mm, wigs today. And one of the reasons <laughs> is because this one is a lovely full cap. Uh, <laughs> both of these units we got from Hair Stop and Shop, which is a very reasonable one stop shop, I guess you would say. And if you're looking for um, units that you can play with and that would give you a good value for your money in your um, quest for a reasonable priced hair accessories, they're pretty good. So, and they have free shipping even to Alaska, which is pretty amazing. My- Mr. Dallas. Oh, yeah, that was Mr. Ja Mr. Dallas. He does a lot of our work here on our farm. He does a lot of the uh, carpentry work, general handyman work, because we live on a real working farm here in Alaska. That and I need a closet. And he's finishing her closet. Okay, um, I chose Charm to showcase today because I wanted you to be able to see a unit that was a full cap, because it is, but that doesn't have bangs. And generally that creates a problem for me because of my huge head. Um, if I have a unit that's not lace front, I get the moon shape. This unit would do the same thing. It would make the same kind of mistakes. You see the ridge here? This is the unit, and then my hair is underneath. There's, Duh, or else would your hair be? No, right here at the ridge. <laughs> it's not, there's no parting space. You can see on this, it's just tracks. So you can't part this wig and have it look natural. Um, this is one of those that you're gonna have to figure something else out. So I did, and I wanted you to have that experience too. In this unit, there is one large comb across the front. So if your hair is thinning rather than um, non-existent, you can use that comb. It is not helping me at all because my hairline is back too far for this comb to be effective. Because she is a five head. <laughs> because I have a five head. So it's doing me absolutely no good. It would be better for me just to take it out with a seam ripper, which I will probably do. Um, there is another comb in the back. And I think that's just about it. There were no other combs, just one long comb and one in the back. Um, this one doesn't help me at all. So I have bobby pins stuck in, in various places because of the texture of this hair, I can do that, to hold this unit and make it secure. Additionally, you can see from this picture that what she did, or what they, her stylist did, was to move this band back a little bit and they incorporated some of her hair in the front to cover up this ridge. I don't have that option because my hair is not this color. Uh, so I've got to make do with what I have. I see you a five head. Because I have a five head. What I chose to do was what I usually do take some pieces of hair from the front and cut them. And this one, I'm not gonna have bangs because I can't even imagine how huge his hair would be if I had no bang, if I had bangs. 
<laughs> so I just created a little face framing. And once you do that, then you can move it around and you can kind of puff it here and puff it here and it gets rid of that hard ridge because of the beauty of this hair color I absolutely love this hair color I decided to match my makeup to it so I've got kind of a um, pale orangish lip color I went with the kind of orange brown eyeshadows so that it would all blend in with this hair if your eyebrows are thinning like mine are um, I always put some type of eyebrow what do you call it like pencil or I use powder was that Elijah or was that Elijah. Oh, ah, my son walked back too uh, <laughs> um, I use a powder on my eyebrows I occasionally use a pencil just to um, fill in sparse parts but today I used my um, auburn colored eyebrow powder because it matches this hair if you're if you have lost all of the hair in your eyebrows due to chemo or hair thinning or whatever you can use a pencil and just draw them on there's a lot of really good tutorials on YouTube for how to do that I just brush mine on because I have a little eyebrow brush brush it in and then I use a little eyebrow I don't know it's like Vaseline but not just to um, set them and keep them in place and it makes it kind of a little no bit shiny. Eyebrows. I do have eyebrows but they're very very pale. Oh, um, she's an alien. <laughs> just like my eyelashes my eyebrows are very pale and at 51 they've started to thin. So did I have a heart attack about it? No. I just decided hey I'll play with these and I think <laughs> that's a good way to look at things. Um, Wow, my hair is thinning in the temples. <sighs> am I going to whine about it? Am I going to be sad about it? Yeah, of course I am. It's something I've had for a long time. But I decided to have fun with it. And to me, wigs are fun. This unit has a lot of the crap tracks and the crap... You see this, car? The crap... Um, the need a relaxer. Wefts. Yeah, it looks like you need a relaxer. What I do in this case... Most of the time, I just pretend it's not there. You don't have any business up in my hair anyway. Um, but if you want to do something different to cover up those kind of crappy tracks, pretend you're Parisian. Stick a beret on. Why do you have to pretend? Okay, don't pretend you're Parisian. Be American and <laughs> stick a beret on. Why not? We stole hamburgers. I'm just kidding. Um, I've always wanted to wear one of these. In my lifetime, I have never been able to wear one because my hair never, is not the kind of hair style, I guess, that You're looks good with that. Long. I'm sorry, I'm taking too you long. You took eight minutes. And 20 seconds. Anywho, um, I'm going to let you get to Kara real quick, but I want to show you this. When you start accumulating hair, accessories, wigs, you need to gonna have to have a place to put them. I take out a wig, I decide a week ahead what I'm gonna wear. I take out a wig for each day and I get a wig stand or a head and I put them on. And you can also get one of these from Hair Stop and Shop. And I think it was pretty cheap, it was like $6.95. Anyway, Kara's turn. Okay, so this is Glee. I from where? From Model Model. Mm. Um, it's got like an inch parting space before the tracks start. And it's really shiny. <laughs> and it falls in your face because it's not heavy. It's just wants to go wherever. It's thin compared to a lot of other straight wigs. And I don't know, it's just weird. Anyway, this is how you put on the beret. Nice. If you want to look like Cousin It. You see Kara's lovely makeup? I am wearing green eyeliner. Hey, I'm wearing burnt sienna. <laughs> we look nice. <laughs> hey, one thing that we do. Hey, I look. What are those people from? Where are those people from? Russia. Yeah, I look Russian. Look at her. <laughs> being all Russian. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, there's a lot of Eastern Crush European and so Russian cool. influences here in Alaska. Now carrot fits in, too. Isn't that cool? Hmm. <laughs> that looks good. Um, one of the things Kara and I do, that if your eyelashes have fallen out, or if your eyelashes are non-existent like mine and real thin, we put on... Individual lashes. Kara puts on individual a lot. I do it every other week because I'm not good at it. She sucks. <laughs> she gets blue, blue in my eye. eye. <laughs> she was screaming. <laughs> oh, anyways, there's two combs. <laughs> and one in the back. And it's got adjustable straps. And the hard lace. <sighs> if you didn't have hair, Kara, would you suggest that hair unit? Ouch. No, 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 no. Why? Because this, this is hat hair and a hard lace on your no hair head. head? <laughs> on your no hair head. <laughs> Would probably hurt. A lot. And you wouldn't cover up a lot because when she was putting that on, we noticed in the back, there's, it's not. The tracks show yeah. a lot in the back. So you'd have to have your hat like this. Which works too. No, it doesn't. One of the things that... I can be a mushroom. Mushroom kingdom. They said I could be anything, and I chose to be a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I think that Kara and I enjoy about this is we get time to bond as a mother and daughter doing fun things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it is fun. I mean, you get to discover the joy of being glamorous and having beautiful hair and makeup and looking like mushrooms. Hey, we should put that picture of the Pixie Kingdom from this morning. It was Winterside of Pixie Hollow. Sorry, Winterside of Pixie Hollow. We'll show you that. Something about Tinkerbell, I don't know. I love Tinkerbell. When I was growing up, Tinkerbell My head! Nothing. So you want to take that off? I have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to review very quickly so we can leave. This is from the Motown, mine is from the Motown Trust Collection Charm in it color F2730. Nice it doesn't get all tangled. Kara's is Glee from Model Model. Model. Fibers made in Japan. Really? Mine was made in China. Mine's better. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Fiber made in Japan, manufactured and packaged in Indonesia. <laughs> oh, international. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching our review. We hope that we have helped you a little bit in showing you different styles and colors and things like that. And we will showcase a picture of something about Pixie Hollow. The Pixie Hollow side. Of what? The winter side of Pixie Hollow. Yes. We're going to show you that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next, ah, next time. Bye. <laughs>